Good morning, Orcas. Today is Thursday, January 25th, 2024. I'm Natalie. And I'm Meredith. Have an awesome day. But last, here's you gotta with today's birthdays. Hi, I'm Greta with today's birthdays. Today's birthday is Virginia M and 4D. Happy birthday. Come to the library for your birthday pencil and go to the computer lab for your birthday surprise. Now to Caleb with today's pledge. Hi, I'm Kayla with today's pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. Now to um, Matthew with today's weather. Hi, I'm Matthew with today's weather. Today's weather is a high of 71 Fahrenheit and a low of 63 Fahrenheit. And there's probably a 2% chance of rain. Have a good day. Today is an elementary school teacher's favorite day of the school year. It's opposite day. Opposite day is one of the least confusing days on the calendar. It makes sense to everyone and no one is ever confused about what's happening. On opposite day, people say things in, ex in exactly the right order, which is the, which is the opposite order, of course. On a serious note, while opposite day can be super fun, <clears throat> it is important to remember <clears throat> that opposite day is about having fun. Hurting people's feelings <clears throat> or saying things that aren't true make the day not so fun. It's especially not fun to our grown-ups when students say no when they mean yes or yes when they, met, when they mean no. It's important to remember that opposite day is about being silly and not about hurting, about hurting feelings or making people feel confused. Some ways you can keep opposite day fun are to only do opposite things that are safe and silly and to always be sincere. Try to do opposite things that are challenging like writing with your opposite hand or walking backwards on the playground with help from a friend so you don't run into anyone. You can write your name backwards or use your last name instead of your first name and of course eat, with your, des eat your dessert first. In other news, our first book battle will take place on Monday afternoon. Those students competing will be answering their first round of questions in a written test to see which team comes out on top. If you're on the, a book battle team, brush up on your reading and take your notes. And since our dragon drawing drive was so popular, we are going to do another request for drawings. This time, we're talking mood monsters. What's a mood monster? Draw a picture that represents how it feels to be happy, sad, angry, or excited. Think about other mood think about other mood words you could draw a picture of. What does surprise look like? What does silly feel like? How about tired or relaxed? Draw a picture of a mood feeling and put it in our own inbox. We'd love to see what you come up with just like the dragons will show them off on ONN. To make sure everyone's moon monster gets shown, please only submit one or two pictures to the ONN box. Now to Jersey with today's lunch. I'm Jersey, I'm lunch with today's Jersey. Today's lunch is chicken and waffles 
and chicken and waffles, but if you don't want that, you can get a PB protein kit. Make sure to get your fresh fruit, veggies, and milk. Have a wonderful day. Good morning. <clears throat> Today is Thursday, January 25th, 2024. I'm Natalie. And I'm Meredith. And I'm, I'm Henry. Henry. And I'm Caleb. And I'm Jersey. And I'm Grit. <laughs> and I'm Henry. <laughs> and I'm, I'm Jersey. And I'm, and I'm still Henry. <laughs> and today we're talking about opposite day. And remember that tomorrow is an early release day. But first, have a great, great school, school day. day. Wait, we forgot to say I'm that. Henry. <laughs>